Hi, and welcome back to Trifecta Pilates. My name is Beth. We're gonna be doing a full length Pilates workout, making sure that fit in the exercises of rollover, corkscrew, and teaser. If you've never done these exercises, you may wanna check out those exercise spotlights first so that you know what variation you're gonna to do to make the class not only as safe as possible, but as effective as possible as well. If you're ready to get started, join me on the mat. We're gonna get started having a seat on our mat today. Opening your legs just a little bit wider than the width of your mat, hands come on the thighs. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, head nods down, round through the rest of your spinal column, hands slide towards the feet. Inhale, experience your stretch, and exhale, roll right back up again. We're going to continue this. So variation of spine stretch. Exhale, inhale, Exhale. We're going to take a little bit of time to ensure that our body is nice and warmed up before we go into those more challenging exercises. Two more times. On your last time, I want you to see if you can pull in your abs a little bit more as you stretch forward. So you're getting more opening in that low back. Rolling yourself up, having a seat. Hands come behind the head. Inhale, rotate to one side. Exhale, come center. Switch it out. Inhale, rotate second side. Exhale, center. So gentle rotation, since this is still early on in the class. Still in our warm-up phase. We'll get to all those more challenging exercises soon enough. One more time, each side, then we add variation. Rotate to your first side. Reach elbow to same knee, coming up, and center. Rotate second side. Elbow knee, coming up, and center. So we inhale, exhale, breathing in and out. Now rotating and giving yourself a little side stretch as the elbow reaches to the knee. If your elbow doesn't touch the knee, I don't really care. Just want you to feel that nice stretch on the side body. One more time, each side. And last time. Staying center. Bend the knees, grab behind your thighs. Exhale, curl and roll yourself back pulling in the abs, roll into yourself, pull on the thighs even more as you lift and extend your spine. Continue, exhale, inhale. So this is a seated variation of cat-cow. We typically do this kneeling. Just how does it feel when we're sitting on the pelvis to do that same motion mobility with the spine? One last time. Allow yourself to roll back, pause. Pull the abs in a little bit deeper. Hands hover above the knees. Exhale, roll down to your sacrum, the lower spine but, and middle spine, but not your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, knees into the chest, arms parallel to the floor. Hundred, here we go. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Squeeze the legs together. Next time you exhale, extend the legs to the ceiling. And again, next time you exhale, if you'd like, reach your legs forward at an angle to the floor, getting more activation in the abs. Maintain that deep activation. Inhale, exhale, legs up to the ceiling. Reach and reach, legs up to the ceiling as the arms continue to pump. Your next exhale, bend the knees right back to where we started, continue pumping the arms. Since the knees are bent, next exhale, can you curl into yourself a little bit more? One more deep breath in to out. Pause, stay curled up, place the feet onto the mat, thighs parallel to one another, lowering shoulders, 
Head down to the floor as well as the arms. Press down into the feet. Pelvic curl. Exhale, curl pelvis spine up. Inhale, once the pelvis and spine is curling up. And rolling your spinal column right back down to the mat. Inhaling once you're down. And repeat. Exhale, curl up. Take the time to open, open the hips, engage the back of the legs more, rolling yourself down. Continuing at your own pace, pressing into the back of the arms firmly, push the mat down with the feet as firmly as you can as well. Two more times. And one last time. Spine stays down on the mat. Arms reach ceiling. Extend the arms behind your head as the legs reach away from you. So arms and legs reaching in opposition, connection point, the abs. Inhale. Exhale, pull the abs in more and stretch and reach your arms and legs further away from one another. Next, inhale, arms ceiling. Roll your spine off the mat into our roll up, bending and opening the spine. Inhale, stretch further forward. Exhale, rolling the spine right back down again. So hopefully feeling work in the abs, but we're also preparing the body with that forward fold stretch for roll over. Continuing at your own pace, we're using all muscle, no momentum. One more time like this and then we add variation. Start rolling yourself down part way, lifting one leg up towards the ceiling, arms up to the ceiling as well. Stretch toes ceiling, arms by your side. Leg circle here, inhale to exhale. Inhale, exhale. I want you to think about the toes touching the ceiling every time the leg comes up. Two more times. Pause, up, arm ceiling, flex through the foot, inhale, exhale, roll yourself up, leg arcs forward until it meets down, forward fold stretch, inhale, exhale, roll down, opposite leg reaches ceiling, once you're down, toes ceiling, arms by your side, leg circle cross, inhale to exhale, find the breath, Reaching the leg up to the ceiling. One last time. Pause up. Arm ceiling. Inhale. Flex the foot. Exhale. Roll spine up. Bending forward. Back into our forward fold. Squeeze the legs together. Reverse and roll right back down. First leg reaches up. Toes up. Arms by your side. Open circle. Open. Reach forward around up. Open for the round up. Breathing in to out. Two more times. Pause up. Flex the foot, arm ceiling. Roll spine forward and up, giving yourself that forward fold stretch again. Rolling down. Arms by your side, toes ceiling. Open circle, open. Reach for the round up. Inhale. To exhale. One last time. Flex foot, arm ceiling, roll yourself forward into your forward fold. Squeeze and narrow the legs together, head forward. Taking a spacious breath into the back body here, rolling down onto the mat. Once you're down onto your mat, bend your knees. Push down into the back of the arms. We want that strong push for a rollover with our arms. Exhale, thighs in towards the chest. 
legs up towards the ceiling, we're going to go into double open leg circle. So open the legs, reach them forward, squeeze together and up. I want you to keep your face, your eyes looking straight up to the ceiling for this. You can stay with these circles or exhale, bend the spine, roll over, legs go overhead, pelvis overhead. Open legs, flex the feet, scrape the ceiling with the heels of the feet. Imagine as you roll down, circle the legs, squeeze together, exhale over. Inhale, open flex, strong legs rolling down. Pressing into the back of the arms, regardless of the variation you're choosing. Head. Eyes up towards the ceiling. Movement through the spinal column, through the legs. Engagement with the abs, back of the shoulders, and also the legs. So much going on, I know. That's what makes it effective. Circling the legs together. Fold the knees in towards the chest. Take hold of the ankles. Curl towards the thighs, roll up, roll back, and up, rolling like a ball. Inhale, exhale, let your breath go into that low spine as you roll back. Two more times here. Very nice, stay up, squeeze the legs together, feet come together. Reach your arms forward, breathe out, reverse, and roll yourself down onto your sacrum again. The lower spine, middle spine, but not the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, thighs come in towards you, take hold of the ankles. Pull the legs in more, tie their ball shape. Double leg stretch, here we go. Arms and legs reach away, circle arms bend. Breathing in, breathing out. two, and one. Now reach arms and legs away. Keep legs where they are, interlace fingers, hands behind the head. Exhale, legs up. Inhale, reach legs forward. Exhale up. Inhale. Breathing out. Breathing in. Squeeze and narrow the thighs together. One last time. Keep the legs reaching forward, bend the knees. Feet come on the mat, arms by your side, shoulders and head lower down. Continue breathing. We're gonna keep the pelvis right where it is, face and eyes right up to the ceiling. Bend one knee in towards your chest, reach the leg ceiling, flex the foot. Reach heel up to the ceiling and now reach the thigh forward forward. Bend the knee, replace the foot, switch sides. Bend knee in, straight ceiling, flex. Reach and arc thigh forward. Replace the foot. Now as you continue, I don't really care how low the leg goes, I want the pelvis instead to stay very stable. We're going to add on with a slightly different variation, or you can keep your pelvis right where it is. Variation, press both feet into the mat. Exhale, pelvic curl, curl pelvis spine up. Coil the pelvis more and more and more. Press into one foot a little bit more firmly. Bend knee into the chest, reach ceiling, flex. Arc the leg forward, keeping abs pulled in, supporting legs strong. Replace the foot. Switch it out. Bend to straight. Flex, reach, and arc forward. Replace. No matter what leg you're moving, trying to keep equal and even press with the arms. And even though the leg is moving, that's not really doing as much work as the supporting leg, keeping your pelvis up, and the abs ensuring that we do not start to feel work in the back. 
One more time, each side we got this. Last time. Replace the foot. Keep both feet down, rolling the spinal column down. Grab behind the thighs. Rock yourself up. Now, if the back of your legs are a little bit tighter, keep your hands behind your thighs. A little bit more flexible, take hold of the ankles. Exhale, extend one leg, inhale, bend. Balance check, switch sides. Extend to bend. The leg may not go all the way straight, and that's fine. Try both at the same time, extend and bend. Now if it's feeling very challenging, just straighten both legs. Keep the knees bent or work to your straighter leg position. Regardless, push the legs into the hands and with your arms, pull the hands into the legs. So you have a nice engaged body right now. Inhale, exhale, roll back, coming right back up again. Open leg rocker, inhale to exhale. Two more times. One last time. Staying up. Squeeze the legs together like crazy. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Reach your arms forward, legs stay still. Roll back down onto sacrum, onto lower back, middle back, not shoulders. One leg up to the ceiling. Gentle. Pull, pull, switch it out. Pull, pull, switch. Breathing out to in. Keep curling up to your thighs. So a single straight leg stretch variation here. One more time each side. For last one and one. Both legs positive to the ceiling. Grab behind your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up a little bit more. I know you got more in you. Pull those abs in more. Hands go behind the head. Bend one knee and extend the opposite leg. Switch sides. Breathing out and in. So keep curling up to the thighs. Now the hands are going to support the weight of the head. So single leg stretch variation. Let's add a little bit more for those obliques. Rotate to your bent thigh, switch it out, and switch. One more time each side. Very nice, bend the knees into your chest, roll yourself up, have a seat. Preparing saw. Open the legs where we got started, a little bit wider than the mat. Arms open across from the shoulders. Inhale, find rotation. Exhale, reach towards your pinky toe. Come up and center. Switch, rotate, reach forward. Coming up and center. Rotate spine, stretch leg. Coming up and center. Keeping the legs very strong, very engaged. One last time. Very nice. Stay center. Close the arms and legs. Reverse roll yourself back down to the mat. Bend the knees in towards the chest. Keeping the arms by your side. Feel the abs pulling towards the spine. So the lower spine is lengthened onto the mat. Sway the pelvis one side to the opposite. Notice as you're moving the pelvis side to side that you're rolling along the sacrum lower spine on the mat. Keeping even weight in the shoulders for the sequence, head stays straight up to the ceiling as well as your eyes. No rotation or movement in the neck. Keep it safe. Stay center, squeeze the legs together. Reach the thighs away from the belly, pull the thighs back in towards the chest. Reach away, pull in. So as you're doing this, when the legs reach away from you, low spine stays on the mat. No tunnel with that low back lifting when the legs reach away. That way we're gonna work the abs and not the hips or back. We want work for the abs. Pause thighs in, we're gonna combine it. Rotate to one side, 
Roll the thighs forward, low back on the mat, spin them to the opposite side center, pause. Reverse it, rotate, circle around and up to center. This should feel so lovely on the back. Breathing through, inhale, to exhale. One last time, inhale, to exhale. Now you can keep corkscrew variation there or level up and extend the legs. You can do exactly what we just did with the legs straight or we go into full corkscrew and this is where I really need you to keep your focus straight up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend the spine, start in your roll over position, imagine. Rotate legs to one side, roll down. You'll feel one side of the spine, reach down to the mat first. Circle the legs around to the opposite side, roll over, squeeze the legs together, legs center, rock them back. Roll the spinal column down, exhale. Circling the thighs, rolling over. So full corkscrew. Legs stay strongly squeezing together. Arms, pushing them evenly down into the mat. Keeping head straight up to the ceiling. This is another exercise. There's so much going on. Once we get it, it becomes even more beneficial not just for the abs, strengthening the back of the shoulders, making sure our legs are strong as well. One last time. Staying center next time. If you're rolled over, roll yourself down in center aligning position. Roll all the way up. Sitting nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Taking the hands behind you. Fingers either point forward or to the outer edges of your mat. Those are your two options. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up. Keep breathing, inhale to exhale. If this is enough of a stretch for your chest, keep it here. Inhale, option exhale, lift the hips up, open and stretch the chest a little bit more. Press down into the feet, lower pelvis down three quarters of the way, lift up. Lower down three quarters of the way. So you notice we're not gonna let the pelvis come all the way down to the mat. Two more times, two. One last time, one. Very nice, lowering down. Coming on hands and knees on your mat. So hands and knees mat. Shoulders right over the hands, knees right underneath the pelvis. Looking above where the thumbs are. So keeping natural curves of your spine. Take one hand to the shoulder. Inhale, rotate spinal column, looking to the shoulder. Exhale, rotate right back to where you were, squaring the shoulder. Repeat, inhale to exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now that hand on the shoulder opens across from the shoulder, straight arm, inhale. Exhale, it's gonna wrap underneath the body towards the opposite arm, supporting arm stays straight. Rotate shoulder, square and open arm. Repeat two more times, rotate and wrap. Open, working to keep the arm straight, supporting arm if you can. Open. Take the hand underneath the shoulder again. So both hands underneath you. Repeat second side, here we go. Opposite hand to shoulder. Inhale, find rotation. Look elbow to shoulder if you'd like. Coming right back square. Rotating, inhale to exhale. One last time, inhale to exhale. Open arm across from the shoulder. Wrap and rotate underneath, look towards supporting arm, supporting shoulder, opening the arm. Keep your supporting arm straight and open. One last time, rotate and open. Replace the hand. Both hands underneath you. Reach one leg long back behind you, top of the foot on the floor. 
eyes still looking where the thumbs are. Inhale, exhale, engage the glutes, lift the straight leg up, lower the thigh down. Lift straight leg up, lower the thigh down. Breathing out and in. Really find the engagement from the base of the glutes rather than from the lower back. Two more times. One last time. Now lower the thigh down, tuck the toes, and press your heel back so you start to feel a stretch along the back of the leg, keeping the leg very strong. Still breathing in to out. Another breath here. Then replace your knee, both knees underneath you. Second side, leg long, top of the foot down on the mat to begin with. Engage the gluteals to lift the thigh up and down. Breath out to in. Feeling deep engagement with the base of the glutes. Two more times. One last time. Leg stays down, tuck the toes, give yourself that stretch back. Feel the stretch back in the lower leg. Continue breathing in, to out. Another breath. Very nice. Replace the knee. Straighten first leg back, tuck the toes. Opposite leg back, tuck the toes. Press the heels back, give yourself the stretch. Press the heels forward. Heels back, heels forward. Find the breath. So center body working, legs strong, arms strong. Entire body. Where can you work more? Where can you work less? Pause with the ankles. Full inhale. Full exhale. Another full inhale. Use your full exhale to lower down on to the mat. Tops of the feet long. Reach your arms forward nice and long as well. So arms and legs straight. Reach one arm further forward like you're trying to walk it along the floor. Opposite arm reaches further forward, walking it along the floor. Reach one leg up and stretch it back like you can touch the wall behind you. Lower down. Switch sides. Leg reach to lower. Now reach everything long. Arms forward, legs back. Taking another breath here. Maintain the length in your legs, the length of the spinal column as the hands come near the shoulders. Now we're gonna not use our hands. So it's like, look ma, no hands. Keep the hands lifted, inhale. Exhale, engage the abs a little bit more. Your next inhale, let the base of the skull press up. Spine starts to lift, legs stay heavy. Look ma, no hands, try not to use your hands. Lower down, two more times like that, then we add variation. Inhale, to exhale, one last time, inhale, to exhale, variation, still, look ma, no hands, don't use those hands, inhale, press down into the hands, push, and now start to move your spine higher up, you decide where your ending range of motion is, shoulder soft, lower down. Release the hands, no hands. Inhale, spine lifts. Get your back to bend. Push down into your hands when you get stuck. Use the hands to help you bend your spine. Find more strength in the back to come up. Lowering down, no hands. One last time, lift up. Press, lift maybe a little bit more. Lowering down, very nice. Come up onto your forearms, press down into the forearms. Legs are straight and strong, engaged with the abs. So pull those abs in and up. Look over one shoulder, roll the head through center. And two more times this direction. So supported spine extension right now, finding motion through the neck. Stay center, reverse it. Look opposite shoulder, roll head down. 
two more times the same direction. One last time. Very nice, stay center. Pull the legs together if that feels comfortable for your back. Keep the abs pulling in strongly. Lift from the base of the gluteals and lift both legs up and lower down. Lifting both legs up and down. It may feel like you're barely doing nothing, but keep the legs straight. Abs stay pulling in. Imagine the elbows pulling back to the pelvis so your spine is reaching and stretching further forward. This should be a lot of work for the back of the legs. Two more times, two. One last time for one. Very nice, lower down. Let your forehead rest onto one hand. Bend the opposite knee, take hold of the ankle if you can. So going into a thigh stretch here, breathing in, breathing out. Can you align your legs? So the leg you have a hold of in particular, the knee is an opening out to the side. Can you feel the hips and pelvis reach longer on the mat? Lengthen the hips and pelvis long on the mat. Finding your deep breathing here. Rolling that shoulder back. Optional. Next time you inhale, push your foot into your hand, lifting the spine up. We should say bending the spine up. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale. To exhale. One last time, inhale. Exhale. The legs straighten. Switch the hand so forehead to rest on the opposite hand. Bending opposite knee, take hold of ankle. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvis long on the mat. So hips opening. Continue breathing in to out. Find alignment with the legs. Your next breath in, push foot into hand, lift the spine up. Exhale, lower. Foot to lift. Bend to lower. One last time. Power from the leg. Lowering down. Very nice. Let both legs go straight. Lay on one side of your face. Interlace the fingers. Lift the shoulders, elbows up, shoulders, elbows down. It's like a little butterfly wing motion here. Make sure this feels safe and comfortable for your shoulders. Look to the opposite side. Continue this motion. Now keep your shoulders and elbows lifted. Pause. Keep the shoulders lifted as the elbows come down. Shoulders stay lifted, elbows down. Kick both legs towards you three times. Kick, two, three. Straighten arms, legs. Inhale, lifting and bending your spine. Look to the opposite side. Lower, kick, two, three. Savor the spine extension. Look to the opposite side. Find the kick, two, three. Inhale, lift and lengthen. One last time. Kick, two, three. Lift to lengthen. Lowering down. Allow yourself to stay down. Hands come underneath the shoulders and come up onto your knees. You're going to have the knees open about the width of the mat, sitting on the heels of, the, of your feet if you can. Stretch your hands forward. We're not quite going into child's pose yet. I want the weight in your pelvis really anchor it into your heels as the hands walk forward. Inhale, elbows stay straight, and as you exhale, upper body lengthens between the hands. Keeping your weight pushing back into the heels of the feet. So we're just getting into your variation of child's pose today in a slower way, where we're gonna try to keep that weight onto the heels of your feet. Even if you don't release all the way forward with your upper body into child's.
Taking deep breaths into where you're feeling the stretch. It may be in the arms because you're staying straight, elbows lifted up off the floor. Maybe in the knees or lower back, but nothing is painful. Stretching is never painful. One more deep breath here. Let's bring ourselves up and come to a side lying position. Allow your body to be to the very back edge of your mat, legs to be to the front and bottom corner. Top hand can come behind the head. That feels comfortable. We're going to press our skull into our hand just ever so slightly. Squeeze and engage both legs together. Exhale, both legs lift to lower. Legs come up and down. Now, if you're not using your top hand much, take both hands behind the head. Challenging not only obliques, but stability now or balance. Two more times. One last time. Keep the legs lifted, bottom leg down and up. Getting some inner thigh work here. Two times. Two. Keeping the leg down, lift the top leg up and down. It's not as high as it can go. More concerning yourself with is the pelvis truly staying still. So right here, not moving. The leg is moving, not pelvis or waist. Two more times, two for one. Circling the leg, inhale to exhale. Reverse your direction. Inhale to exhale. Very nice. Lowering the leg down and rolling right on to your second side here. So top hand can stay down or come behind the head. Bottom hand behind the head if you'd like as well. Exhale, both legs up and down up and down, breathing out and in. Strong squeeze with the inner thighs, so we can even work the inner thighs here. Really, whenever the legs are together, we can work the inner thighs. Keeping legs lifted, bottom leg down to up. Freely moving that bottom leg because we have so much support and stability in the rest of the body. Keep the bottom leg down, top leg up to down. Again, how still can we keep the pelvis? The movement's here, not here. Circling the leg, breathing in to breathing out. Reverse your direction, breathing in to breathing out. Very nice. Let that leg release. We're going to come back in to our child's pose. So feet together, having a seat, and walking the hands forward, keeping the pelvis heavy on the heels of the feet. Find your breath since this is our second time. Maybe you can sink and settle into this position a little bit more quickly or find it a little bit more. If not, it's fine. You take the time you need. More deep breath here. Your exhale coming up hands and knees. Back to hands and knees, knees right underneath the pelvis, hands right underneath the shoulders once again. Reach and extend one leg back behind you, flex the foot this time. Engage through the gluteals, lift long leg up. So lifting the leg up. Opposite of that, reach and extend, lift arm. Reach longer, reach longer. Exhale, pull and round in, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach and extend, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, pull in, find and savor the length. One last time, exhale, pull in, reach and extend, replace the hand and the knee. Extend the opposite leg back, toes tuck, reach the heel back behind you, engage the glutes. From that position, lift leg up, opposite arm, 
Keep breathing. Inhale. Reach and extend longer. Next breath out. Pull in. Inhale. Reach to extend. Exhale. Pull in. Push back behind. Pull in. Maintain. Reach and extend. Replace hand and knee. Round through the spine. Let's get the front of the thighs to work a little bit for us. Tuck through the toes. Press into the feet. Can you hover your knees above the mat? Keep and maintain the spine staying round. Press the pelvis back behind you. Coming right back over pelvis, over knees. Exhale, pull the abs in to press back. Keep the abs pulling in to come forward. Breath out. And then. Two more times, breath out, and in. One last time, breath out, and in. Knees come down, go back neutral position with the spinal column. Very nice, cross the legs, have a seat on your mat. Grab behind the thighs, lift and lengthening the spine up, neck is happy. Exhale, roll yourself down until the arms go straight. Once the arms are straight, lift the chest up, give the elbows a bend. So really pulled in here, lifted with the chest. Extend one leg and bend, switch. So alternating the legs, the legs may not go all the way straight. Try both and bend to both and bend. Two and one. Take the feet down, reach the arms forward. Reverse and roll yourself down. Sacrum, low back, middle back, head. Reach your arms behind. Arms up. Roll yourself right back up again. Lifting. Reverse and roll down. Use the hands or not. Your choice, not mine. Rolling right back up again. One last time. Reverse and roll back. We add variation. Extend one leg, coming up. Reverse and roll back, arms behind. Extend second leg to come up. Reverse and roll back, arms behind. Extend first leg, pause up. Rotate towards that thigh and center. Rotate away and center. Reverse, roll down, arms behind. Rolling up. Extend, rotate, and center, second way, and center, roll down. One or both, roll up, extend, roll down, arms reach, roll up, extend, roll down, abs burning, yes? Variation, roll up, extend one, none or both, rotate one way, center, Second way, center, roll down. One more time through. Extend opposite leg, none or both. Rotate and center, switch it and center. Roll down, arms behind. Circle the arms wide. Reach arms forward. Exhale, roll up, lifting tall. And come back onto our forearms. Palms face up. So you can feel that lower back in your hands. Want the lower back to stay with the same weight on the hands regardless of where we take the legs. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up. No work in your head or neck. Give your head a little shake. No. And yes, nod your head yes. We're gonna keep the work in the abs. Lift one thigh up, leg comes tabletop, inhale. Exhale, pull the abs in more deeply, second leg to lift, leg tabletop. So you should feel a lot of weight with your lower back in your hands, abs pulling in. One thigh reaches away from you, pull that thigh in. Opposite thigh reaches away, pull the thigh in. Find your breath in to out. Squeeze the legs together. Both thighs reach away and in. Both thighs reach away and in. Two. One more time. Very nice. 
Coming up off of the hand, grab behind the thighs. Roll yourself behind the sits bones, shins parallel to the floor. Lift your chest up, pull the belly button into the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Start using less hands, more abs. Reach your arms forward. Extend the legs as an option. Roll yourself down, sacrum, low spine only. Pause. Roll back up. Two more times. Roll down, sacrum, low spine, rolling up. Can we still have that supple spine? One more time, roll down. Maybe we're shaking, that's good. Stay up, pull the abs in, the legs lower just two inches, that much, two inches, come up. Two inches and up, one more time. Roll all the way down, pull the knees into the chest, gently roll side to side. Keep breathing, I'm gonna ask you to be honest with yourself. Where were you feeling the work? abs strong legs squeezing together if the first thing that you thought was my hips are really feeling a lot of work any work in the back or work in the neck and shoulders continue breathing maybe refer back to a variation we did prior or even take a stretch if you want to level up here we go teaser three we're going to combine them all stretch the arms and legs away from one another Squeeze and narrow the legs together. Find your breath. Inhale. To exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The abdominal wall pulls in more deeply. Next, inhale. Arms reach up. Bend your spine. Float the legs up. Find your expression of teaser. Legs straight, legs bent. I don't care. Roll yourself right back down again supply move through the spine arms reach away continue arms spinal column pull and engage the abs in so the legs float up imagine them floating up in order for them to float up they need to squeeze together like crazy so we're not gonna kick them up they rise to the surface from your strength control power rolling back down to subtle motion but intense one last time rolling up 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 roll all the way down last time reach your arms behind your head beautiful work arms open across from the shoulders palms face down we're going to wind the class down so press down into the feet inhale exhale find your pelvic curl Guide your spinal column off the mat, moving through the spinal column supply, just like you just did. Difference, I really want you to open through the hips. We just had them in a tight position for a long time with teaser. So we're gonna stay up in our pelvic curl, taking the opportunity to curl and open the, through the front of the hips a little bit more. Press evenly into the arms, eyes straight up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, rolling the spinal column back down to the floor. Allow yourself to keep the spinal column down on the mat. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Take hold of the ankles. Roll yourself up. Now arms can see on the outside of the legs or variation. Arms come to the inside of the legs. You're going to thread knee. You're going to thread elbow, excuse me, underneath the knee, hand on top of the foot. So inside, elbow, hand on top of the foot. Same with the second leg. So our arms are on the inside of our legs, and then their hands end up on the outside of our feet. Take some breath here. Hold this balance. If this is not working for you today, go back to arms on the outside of the legs. You do not need to do this thread. Regardless of where your arms and legs are, let the legs surrender into the arms so legs don't have to work here. Inhale to exhale. Your next inhale, roll the spine back. Roll the spine up. Inhale back. Exhale up. Two more times. Inhale back. Exhale up. One last time. Inhale back. Very nice. Exhale up. Extend your legs. Toes up towards the ceiling. Legs will be straight. Arms reach forward. Inhale. Exhale. Bend forward towards the toes. 
top of the head forward towards the toes. Inhale, allow the spine to stay round. Exhale, roll away from the legs. Toes stay up to the ceiling. The legs stay straight if possible. Palms face the thighs. Allow yourself to stay down on the mat for a breath, feeling where your spinal column is supported by the mat. Roll yourself right back forward towards the toes. Reaching past the toes with the fingers, with the head. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen further forward towards the toes. Inhale, stay where you are. Exhale, reverse and roll away from the toes. Laying back down onto the mat. Feeling and lengthening the sacrum down on the mat first. Middle spine, upper spine, arms to head. Take a few more breaths here now. Inhale, exhale. Feel the heaviness of the arms on the mat. The heaviness of the legs. Feel the base of the skull on your mat. The heavy points with your spinal column on the mat. The lighter points potentially where the back is lifted up off the mat. We're in your variation of ideal standing position right now. Inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up and forward to the toes. Inhale. This time, exhale, bend the knees. Just going to flip our orientation. Come standing forward fold. Inhale, stay where you are. Exhale, release into your standing forward fold a little bit more. And notice how the shape is the same exact shape we were just in seated. We just flipped its orientation to the floor, that's all. Inhale, and as you exhale, roll away from the toes, coming to a standing position eventually. So the pelvis and sacrum will position first. The rest of the spinal column, arms, last thing, will be the head. Inhale, once you're standing, and repeat. Head rolls forward. Spinal column, you're rolling forward to the toes. Now just in a standing aligned position. Continue breathing. Inhale. To exhale. Rolling yourself right back up standing. We're going to do that one more time. Trying to integrate all the work we did, laying down on the mat to our now standing position. That's what it's all about. Head, upper spine, middle spine. Pull the abdominal wall in against the lower spine. Get the lower spine to open more. Once you're in your standing forward fold, give yourself a spacious inhale. Exhale, release and lengthen past the toes. Imagine with the head. Inhale, experience where you are now. Exhale, rolling right back up. Standing position. All the way up standing. Once you're standing, allow the eyes to close. Continue breathing in out, experience where your feet are, where they're pressing into the mat, gather strength from the floor to pull up through the legs, ascending and anchoring in pelvis and abdominal wall. Abdominal wall gently reaches against the interior of your spinal column. The energy spills through the crown of your head and allows the shoulders to soften on down. So even though we're somewhat still, let the energy of the class course through the body. Continue breathing in to out. Your next exhale, softly allow the eyes to open, welcoming the day once again. And let me know how you liked that workout. We really moved through the body, hopefully in a supple way for your spinal column, not only opening and massaging the lower spine, but getting the spine to go in the opposite position as well for our extension. I hope that you feel absolutely amazing right now and empowered to progress with the rest of your day. I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.